What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome to my brand new action RPG tutorial series in Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, I know, if you've seen me or seen my channel before, chances are that it's because of my old action RPG series, which I have started back in 2019 I think. Well that was really fun to make and I really enjoyed teaching people plenty of things about Unreal Engine and RPG game development in general. You know, we didn't go too deep into the RPG elements, still, it was really fun to make. I decided that we are going to be starting over from scratch. Can you believe that, starting over from scratch? It really does sound hard, there are some reasons behind that. Hopefully this time I can complete the whole series in a few months, because I've tried to simplify it. I will try my best to not include videos that will get retconned out of it, like I did with the few AI videos in the old series. So yeah, I want to make every single part of it important, and that is why we are gonna not really... Like, I'm gonna try to not make mistakes with it. Also, in the old series, we were copying Dark Souls, but for this one, we are just gonna make a normal action RPG in general. It's gonna be kind of like God of War, which, you know, it's not an action RPG, but the movement scheme is gonna be kind of like God of War, and I would say that Dark Souls is also still, like, the biggest influence, but, you know, it's not gonna be like a Souls-like game with the mechanics, just the movement and the attacking will be like Dark Souls. We are making just a standard action RPG that doesn't look like anything specific, so by the end, you know, you shouldn't expect the result to be Dark Souls of, or God of War, but they are just the two main references for gameplay of this series. If you want to make something that looks like God of War or Dark Souls, you know, it's going to take you a lot of effort on your part. You know, you're going to need more programming, which, you know, you're going to learn the basics of in this series, by the way. I'll get into that later. But anyway, yeah, it will take lots of programming, lots of animations, modeling, you know, you're gonna need a budget for that or you're gonna need to have lots of time. However, what this series will do for you is it will get you started on the right path so that you can eventually learn to code an entire game of this type by yourself. I am using code similar to what I'm gonna be showing you in this tutorial series for my own unannounced action RPG. So this series is like a free gift from me to every person in the Unreal Engine community. By the way, my game will be pretty badass, so please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and wait for the reveal trailer. Since I started the old series back in 2019, I have gained a lot of experience with Unreal Engine, coding, and game development in general. And these days I can just code anything that I want with minimal research, which has been great for my own projects. I'm saying this because for my old action RPG series, several parts of the code, actually most of it, was inspired by other YouTubers and tutorials. But for this new series, most of the code will be written by yours truly, which is me, I'm pointing at myself in the camera. So yeah, for those reasons, I decided that I'm gonna be remaking the entire series from start to finish after an early version of Unreal Engine 5 came out, because you know, it's just a new chance to just make one for Unreal Engine 5, despite the fact that you know, there's really not much of a difference. And you know, I just wanted to fix some stuff in the series for a while because I get a lot of people complaining, for example, about the AI videos. You know, they were like, there was a lot of backtracking between them. And I decided that, you know, now is the best time to do so. I'm actually a bit late with it. I, I, I planned this series like three or four months ago when Unreal Engine 5 first came out. And this time we are doing it using root motion animations, which will generally improve how fluid the gameplay is. And basically, let me tell you that if you are making any type of action game, root motion is definitely the definitive way to actually do it, as you'll want precise animation and character movement syncing. Anyway, for the first 10 or so videos, I plan to cover the movement mechanics and maybe the battle animations, as well as the attack combos. Videos 11 to 20, will cover stats such as health, stamina, experience, leveling, multiple weapons, character death, by non-combat situations, and finally the last 10 videos will cover enemy AI, hit detection, and will actually tie everything together so that, you know, it's just one big playable prototype game that you can actually build upon and improve if you want, like if you learn more programming. And I do not plan to make it a long series like the old one. 
However, if I see that the series is actually bringing me lots of likes, subscribers, and you know, there are just a ton of people following it, I will definitely continue with more batches of videos and systems for sure. For example, we can start making more advanced things like a quest system, mounts, day-night cycles, open world elements, and many other things. I would even do things that patrons and subscribers request, but for the first while we are just gonna focus on what I've already planned. And you know, I will just definitely consider doing the rest if there are enough people following this by the time we reach the completion of the initial prototype, which will be the first 30 to 40 videos. Now whether this series is gonna be beginner friendly or not, I will say that it is actually going to be a beginner friendly series however if you are a complete unreal engine newbie who has never used the engine before i would say that you know you just need to learn the basics of you know navigation and the basics of blueprints and even if you follow this series as a beginner do not actually expect yourself to learn everything in one go i will try my best to explain everything i can however it would still be a bit difficult for a complete beginner to understand or comprehend at first so i would say you know just follow this series if you are a beginner and just try to understand what you can from it and the best way to learn is to just dive straight in in my opinion so yeah just give it a shot and if you can't understand you know you can rewatch you can just see how the code is working using debug in the engine and you know you will definitely understand it if you keep trying and one more thing to keep in mind is that no matter which version of unreal engine you are using things will still likely be the same even if they look pretty different cosmetically so you can follow the series even if you are using unreal engine 4 or you know any version of the engine you just have to find where each thing is located and you know find the difference from your version like from my version so anyway the first episode of this series comes out tomorrow which is the 20th of september 2021 one thing i wanted to mention is that my precious patrons actually receive five videos ahead here's the five yeah five videos ahead of youtube as well as the project files for the unreal engine project if you want that please check out my patreon page and just take a look at things there you know they already got the first four parts so if you want to just check them out earlier than everyone you can just go there and you know support the channel and i will definitely appreciate it i do plan to be very active with patreon from now on so maybe you can expect like five to ten videos ahead you know before i couldn't really be very active on patreon but i'm gonna try to fix that so anyway if you are looking forward to the series please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel you know subscribe so that you can see the other tutorials because you know we have plenty of stuff coming up and you know i would really appreciate it if you also subscribe for specifically my games if you want to see them i will see you tomorrow on part one take care have a great day and bye